Welcome back to Pretty Scary, the channel that shows you easy to follow budget friendly tutorials that you can recreate at home. And today I'm showing you how to turn your baby bump into a Jurassic Park dinosaur egg complete with raptor claw. So to recreate this look, keep watching. First up, how to make the raptor claw. Roll three sausages of foil and then take an oblong of foil and wrap those sausages up in the oblong. You can see what I mean here. I'm not explaining it very well, but you see what I'm doing. And then wrap that in masking tape and there you have formed the base of the hand. Now, once you've shaped that foil into thinner fingers, just by molding and shaping it with your fingers, you want to take some latex and cotton wool and basically cover the whole of that foil armature with cotton wool soaked in latex. You can use tools to mold it or just your fingers. I used a variety of both. And then take some false nails and pick the correct size for your raptor fingers. Cut them into claw shapes and then just file them down. I'm using a glass file because you need something pretty robust, robust even, <laughs> for these plastic nails. Just want to make sure you take the sharp edges off. Once those are all complete, just stick them to your armature. I used some cotton wool soaked latex or you can use hot glue or super glue, whatever you have to hand. Now you want to make sure that all of the foil is completely covered in cotton and latex. That'll give you a good base to paint on. Foil and latex is really easy to mould, so you can really mould those shape and shape those fingers. Then just paint the whole thing black and then use various different shades of grey, starting with a slightly deeper grey and getting lighter and lighter, just brushing that over the hands to create the different shades and depths of the dinosaur claw. Of course you can paint your claw green if you prefer. I just used a black because I liked the look of it and it kind of matched the reference picture that I had. So there is the finished claw. Now on to the actual dinosaur egg itself. So taking a makeup pencil, I just use a lip liner and draw the egg shape and then paint that white. And then take a grey and stipple that on with a sponge. If you pull a little piece out of your sponge, it'll create holes in the sponge, which will give you a nice texture. And then make a slightly darker grey and stipple that over. What you're wanting to do is create a nice mottled, mottled kind of egg texture on your bump. And then take a stiff brush and just stipple on varying different shades of grey, starting with a light grey and moving up to darker shades. If you don't have a stiff brush, a toothbrush will do the job nicely. Take a baby wipe and clean up any edges, any bits that have gone over the edge of the egg. And then take your raptor claw and mark where you want it to go with your pencil. I'm using a reference picture of the egg in the film with the raptor claw coming out of it. So I just drew the cracks around the claw. And then I just drew the dinosaur eye as well. The more detail you add to your drawing, the easier it is when you come to paint it. Once you're happy with your drawing, take a deep grey and just start to paint the dinosaur eye. Now this does take a certain amount of artistic ability. If you know how to paint, you'll find this a lot easier. But if you just follow my tutorial, then you should be able to create a pretty realistic looking eye. If you prefer, you can do a cartoony eye. If you'd rather do something a little bit simpler, it'll still look great, especially with the nice 3D claw coming out. So 
So what you want to do is basically lay down all your base colors first. So I'm just laying down the gray of the dinosaur skin first of all, and then the brown of the eye. Then I took a yellow shade and started creating the detail on the eye. I painted the colors on with one brush and then blended out with a fluffy brush. It's all about building the detail up in layers. I then took a black and I started to do the wrinkles and lines around the eye. Keep referring back to your reference picture. I also used the same black to shade around the edges so there was a depth of shadow around the edges of the cracks to make it look like the eyes inside. I'm using a very thin detail brush here and just going around the eye and then it's starting to create the details on the eye with the black as well. You can see me just going over those wrinkles too under the eye. And then I used a light gray to fill in the egg behind, kind of the inside of the egg behind the dinosaur eye. I also used a white to highlight the edges of the cracked egg. And then a grey to start filling in the cracks so that they show up a little better. I then used a deep grey to start adding some shadow onto the eye. So to make the eye look more kind of dome shaped and eye shaped rather than flat. I then mixed a yellow and a brown together and used that to start creating even more of the detail on the eye, so the actual iris of the eye. Just blending that out with my finger. Going in with a slightly more intense colour. So the same yellow but mixed with a little less of water. And then I used a black just to go around the edge of the eye again because I'd kind of lost that when I was painting the other details. Now using a deeper black, so this is a wax based base paint so you get a deeper colour and using that to go in with some more detail in the eye. It's looking a bit strange at the moment but it will all start to come together. Going over those wrinkles, deepen those up. creating the lid at the top of the eye and then going in with some white and starting to create some highlights. This is all to add 3D depth and dimension to the wrinkles and the eye itself. Like I said if you feel more comfortable doing a more kind of flat cartoony eye then please feel free to do that. Just using the, the white to create some highlights in the eye and then stippling it on to create the kind of the dinosaur flesh. So the kind of the, you know, the kind of textured dinosaur skin, basically. Then just colouring in the lower part of that open crack on the egg. 
shading the edges to create some depth so you can see the edge of the actual cracks. Just going over the edge of that eye again. There's a lot of back and forth with this tutorial, but hopefully you can follow what I'm doing. When I'm painting the same as when I'm doing makeup, I don't tend to do it in a very logical fashion. I am a bit all over the place and back and forth. So hopefully you can follow this beauty. Anyway, going in with Deep Night by Laura Mercier, my favorite shadow shade. I'm just shading in around those edges just to create a little bit of extra depth and dimension, making it a bit darker at the edges. and then adding those highlights back in to intensify those. Now you want to wipe away the face paint where you'll be sticking the hand because the glue won't stick to the face paint. Add some glue onto the skin and leave that to go clear and tacky. Put some cotton wool and latex on the end of the hand. Allow that to dry and then put some glue onto the actual cotton wool too because basically these kind of adhesives are contact adhesives so it's better to have glue on both the piece and on your skin. Once that's stuck down put some cotton wool and latex around the edges just to give a little extra support. The hand's very lightweight because obviously the foil latex and cotton are lightweight but you still need that extra bit of support just to make sure it stays firmly on your bump. Once that's dry, you want to paint that cotton and latex to match the rest. So I'm just painting it black, first of all. This will blend the piece into your skin. And then while that dries, I'm just going in with some dark gray shadow just to create some dimension around the edge of the egg. And then I've also painted a shadow with the same dark gray shadow, eyeshadow that is, underneath the hand. I'm just basically faffing around here and just adding a little bit of extra detail in where I felt it was needed. So just use your judgment. And then I put a little bit of white around the black on that latex and cotton. And finally I took a NYX white liquid liner and just added some slightly more intense highlights on the eye and also on that dinosaur skin just to give a little bit more texture. I want a little bit of black just to intensify those edges as well where I felt it was needed. This is the finished look, the dinosaur egg with the raptor coming out and this is my best attempt at a Jurassic Park costume, not the best really but I didn't have anything else so had to do. So yes I hope you like this look, let me just sit down, It'll be a lot easier. Oh. And all that remains for me to say is please give this video a big thumbs up because it helps me loads. Hit the thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already because I've got lots of cool looks coming. And love you all. Thank you for watching.